What does he mean to you guys? Uh, Manuel Hooping. Um, just knocking down tough shots and just being that guy for the team. What do you think of this campaign? Pick Nick. Pick Quick. Pick Nick and Quick. Yeah, pick both of them. You know, <laughs> they're my teammates. And, you know, they're playing well. You know, I'm just here for them. How fun is it to have two guys like that on the team who could possibly be, you know, SEC player of the year? You know, what's it like playing with those two? Um, it's very fun. You know, they just they bring that energy. They bring that competitive edge every game. And it's just, you know, just fun watching them, playing with them. Just, this is a show. What's the key to playing without Fallon, not just you, but all the big guys is having on time today? Um, it's a big key. You know, we um, we uh, limit it um, with players. And, you know, we just have to just try to limit our fouls and just, you know, just go out there and just move our feet and things like that. What's the biggest key to maybe solving this late game press situation when you guys have struggled the last two times out? Um, you know, just um, have to just um, get into our man, get open more, and just and just try to um, find open spots to get the ball to get it down the floor. Would you actually punch one of your teammates if he didn't throw you the ball? <laughs> Kenny, Kenny said, is it advising you to do? Um, no, um, you know, they're all my guys, you know, just, just tell them, you know, just next time you, um, hit me there, I'm open then, but you know, it's just, um, all just trying to win and get each other better. You could get away with that with Ashton, right? You guys go way back. You could probably slow him once, right? Oh yeah, me and Ashton, you know, I can hit him one or two times, you know, but we're, we've been boys for a long time, so that's good. What do you say to him or do to him, you know, to, to say, hey, I, I'm in a position, I can do something. What, I mean, do you tell them? Do you yell at them? Do you punch them? <laughs> um, you know, the, at, right after the next play, I just be like, oh, I was open there. You know, just look for me next time and just things like that. You, you seem to have been, especially at the beginning of games, a lot more aggressive offensively, mm -hmm. taking it off the baseline and all those things. Why? What, what has sort of made you start being a little more in attack mode, at least at the beginning of games? Um, you know, just trying to come with that energy. Um, you know, just, I'm just playing with great players and just trying to keep up with their energy and things like that. When they say, when the coaches say you're really close, mm -hmm. the, do you feel that? I mean, is that something you sense in yourself that you're close to kind of clearing a hurdle? Or uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm just trying to bring it every day, bring that energy, and just give whatever my team needs and just go out there and just try to get a W. How hard is it for you to, you, know, you were the man in high school, you had to demand the ball, but now you have to, like, tell some of your teammates to give you the ball to be able to score. How difficult is that sometimes to kind of have that mindset of, I guess, I need the ball demanding it when you already used to have it when you are in high school. So. Um, yeah, it's different, you know, something that I have to learn. I'm still trying to get better at it, you know. But, you know, just, just have talented players on the team. Everybody just can't get the ball, so you just have to do things other than just scoring and get rebounds, you know, block shots and defend, things like that. Where have you most been able to feel yourself changing? 